this way. I mean, thanks, I'll take it, but odd. He's waiting inside. Who exactly? Hi? Is that? I thought I saw you die? It really happened. Satoshi, finally! We found you! Leah, you are here. Does that mean... Is he with you as well? Yes? Alright, this way, please. Make sure he can read the number of this device. It's possible to connect to it using an IDN client. Oh? Huh? Just make sure to look closely at the number, Leah. O okay. Alright, one moment, please. Satoshi, am I so glad to see you again? Same for me. It's been too long. S Sergey, is that you? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but before we continue, let me start a little program. Okay, oh god, what's happening? Alright. Let's stay close and talk quietly. This room is being monitored. Having this noise around us should sufficiently mess with the protocol. At least for some time. I see. Well then, allow me to get straight to the point. Sergey, you should already know about Evatars. Is Leah aware about herself as well? Yes, she is. Had a bit of a freak out, but I'm, I'm doing better now. Good. This will make things much easier. Leah, let me start by saying that you are, in fact... The very first functional Evatar. Minus a few remaining technical issues, like your malfunctioning speech module. Why? Wait, so I didn't imagine it? You can talk? Partially. I hard-coded a few words into our module. I wasn't even aware that was an option. You always managed to surprise me, Sergey. It is nothing. Please go on. All right. Let me tell you what happened after Gotham, Shizuka, and I left Instatainment. Please do. Despite countless attempts, we failed to convince Instatainment to support our research. It was in that hopeless moment that we met a certain person. Mr. Benedict Sidwell. That's the name he gave us, at least. We never met him in person and knew very little about him. Yet, he believed in our vision and offered his support. And indeed, with his help, we continued our research on Evatars. He provided us with everything we needed. Technical equipment, confidential specifications, and most of all, the money. A test environment, oh, within the playground. We managed to continue our research within Crossworlds. Instatainment never interfered. To this day, I don't know how we did it. Things started within this small area of Sapphire Ridge. However, over time, we realized that a larger testing area was required for effective research. And that's how we ended up in Vermilion Wasteland. I don't like that place. It's scary. A discontinued extension to the playground. Mr. Sidwell made it ours for research. We called it Eva Targround. Not the most creative of names, I admit. The new location wasn't the most appealing, but it certainly helped with our research. Is that why so many Evatars are just... trapped there forever? It didn't take us long to reach our first major milestone. Our first avatar, Leah, was born, derived from Suzuka's avatar. Back then, things were going rather well. We made so much progress. It was exciting. Following prototypes have proven to be almost feature complete. It was at that point that a long lingering question started to emerge. What exactly should we do with those avatars? Around that time, Mr. Sidwell made requests for additional features. He wanted to know if we could extract memories from Evatars. The memories of the original players. Hence, his original intent became clear to us. He made us develop a system to gather intelligence from players of Crossworlds. The method works on any player of Crossworlds. First, we apply a custom crosscode to the target player, overriding the original. Just after a short learning phase, we decouple it again. 
From then on, the modified crosscode can be run autonomously. Autonomously, yes, there we go. The Evatar is born. In order to fully regain their memory, the Evatar needs to spend some time within the Evatar ground. And as soon as this is complete, we gather the intelligence. Is that why I saw them strapped to walls like batteries? That's messed up. It turns out you can't simply extract their memory. You have to horribly torture them and they don't know why. But of course you can interrogate an Evatar just like any person. Interrogate them with virtually no restraints on the technique. The method worked. We managed to collect highly confidential information in secret without leaving any trace. Of course, once we discovered what kind of business we ended up in, we started to protest. We never intended Evatars to be used in that manner. We were ready to drop everything, however, it was too late for that. We'd broken several agreements with our ex-employer. That's why we'd been reluctant to report anything to the authorities. And even when we considered doing that, Mr. Sidwell managed to blacklist us into submission, or blackmail. His intention was clear. If any of us tried to leave, our days would be numbered. Well, not that it mattered to me. Do you mean your heart disease? Please do not tell me. I'm sorry. The Satoshi you knew died two years ago. Standing in front of you is the Evatar of Satoshi. No. I myself created this copy as an offer to Mr. Sidwell so I could continue to serve him. In return, I wanted him to let Shizuka go. I was naive to ever think he'd fulfill his end of the agreement. I, I cannot believe this. Don't feel sorry, Sergei. Nothing could have been done about my disease anyway. Becoming an Evatar was the only option for me to stay in this world. We need to switch rooms now, otherwise the masking will lose its effect. Follow me. Satoshi. A system to extract information from players. This is unbelievable. I don't feel comfortable sitting this close to her. She really hates me. Kind of breaks the atmosphere, doesn't it? We're not here to have a good time, Shizuka. So, you're now an Evatar? Can you move around freely in the playground? No. These days, I'm confined within this building. This is also why I know little of what is happening outside. Are you aware that Leah has been in Evatar ground again recently? And I suspected it from some protocol readings I had access to. I suppose they tried to drag Leah back into it? Yes. And once she was there, they could effectively track our connection. They almost managed to locate me. That means Sidwell is already fully aware of your actions. This is troublesome. Something else I wonder. How did Leah learn the truth about herself? You don't know? Your little sister paid us a visit. You did? Yeah, she had a major fit. She confronted Leah with the truth. Very abruptly. And then she choked her. It was really dark and messed up and freaked me out. Not again. I don't see the problem. I merely told her the truth. You know full well what consequences your actions could have had. <sighs> well, it happened. Can't change it now. I'm glad that Leah was strong enough to overcome it this time around. What do you mean, this time around? Yes, congratulations, Leah. We're all so very proud of you. Shizuka, stop acting like a child. Excuse me? You never stopped acting like a freak. Only caring for your dear little AI sister. Enough already! Look, I know you have your issues with Leah, but you need to understand one thing. She's our best chance to get out of this mess. Both of us. What do you mean? It's thanks to her that we got in contact with Sergey. So, you know. Whenever this, whenever Leah ultimately ends up saving us all from all of this, let it be known that you tried to break her brain and her neck. Not only that, but she's the only one who can reach the Evatar server. Why is now the first time I hear of this? I couldn't share this with you or anybody else. We're all being monitored. It would have jeopardized the whole plan. Anyway. With both Sergei and Leah's help, we might be able to get everyone out of this. You, me, me, even Gotham. The Evatar server is in the it is the host for all Evatars, with the exception of Leah. It's located within the playground itself, somewhere inside the dungeon compound of Evatar Ground. Access is highly limited. 
Only avatars with an embedded access key can enter the area without triggering the self-destruct sequence. Because of course it has one of those, why wouldn't it? Remote administration is dis disabled entirely with the exception of one command. The deletion of all data. It's Sidwell's final trump card. The server is impossibly hard to reach, and even if we tried, he could wipe its data at any time. It would put an end to almost any Evatar in existence, including myself. Well, that seems incredibly risky. For Shizuka and Gotham, there might have been a slim chance to escape this whole mess. But for me, it was close to impossible. However, now that Leah is here, things have changed. Because she has that an access key embedded. She can reach the Evatar server. Come again? Why does Leah have the key out of all people? Because I tricked Sidwell into giving it to her. How well, the hell'd you do that? I don't like seeing that. I faked a malfunction of Leah's Evatar. I told Sidwell that the best chance to fix it would be to inspect the state of the Evatar and server side by side, while Leah was still connected. However, I wasn't allowed to access the server. As a compromise, I convinced Sidwell to go to the server together with Leah. I guess that explains a lot of these memories that we've had. Sheesh, okay. He attempted to debug the issue while I provided remote support. Yeah, I don't like the twitching. In order to do that, Leah was given the access key. Despite all the efforts, I told him that the issue could not be fixed. As a final attempt, Leah was relocated to my personal development server. But ultimately, I concluded that she was broken for good. I was tasked with deleting her. Instead, I secretly snuck her back into official game servers, hidden within a small data corruption of the database. One where I was certain that an old colleague would eventually be tasked with looking into it. Oh yes, the data corruption. What the heck? It really did not go easy on me. I had to make sure that not just anyone could fix it. And it worked. Honestly, all of this was a huge gamble. But here you are. You received my message and found me. And now, we need to figure out how Leah can reach the Evatar server before Sidwell has a chance to wipe its data. I already have a few ideas I'd like to discuss with you in detail, Sergey. Of course! Let's relocate back to the previous room. Okay. From here on out, Sergey and I will dive into the technical details. Please don't leave me alone with her. You two probably don't want to stick around for that. Maybe spend some time together as well? Talk it out? I really do not want to do that. She can't talk. Come on, you know what I mean. Do I really have to? Please, dear sister. Fine. Alright. What should we do? I feel like that's up to you, really. Honestly, there's nothing interesting to see in this building any and anyway. I hate it in here. Let's just head outside. Okay. Please don't try to rip my head off again. This whole area is just so terribly delimited. No way to move around. Still, there's a little spot at the lake over there. Let's go there. Okay, sure. Sure. It's a really nice tree. This spot is pretty nice, isn't it? Yes. It's only better than anything you'd find in Vermilion Wasteland. Let's sit down for a bit. So, what words can you say exactly? Hi, bye, Leah, how, why, wait, sorry. That's it? Mm hmm. Must be bothersome. A little bit, yeah. Also, still wearing those horns. So you hate them too? A little bit. They're the worst, aren't they? That all happened because of a stupid joke. I often complain that the horns don't fit the Sphiromancer design at all. So, of course, one day, Sergei gifted them to me. Very funny. It was his fault! And they'd always log into my account and equip them. Those idiots. And now you ended up with them. Sorry for that. Why? Don't ask me, I didn't do it. Well, at least they left you the scar. Scars are badass. That's true. They are. 
Guess we both have the same taste. Makes sense. But you're lucky, you know that? You missed the worst stuff. You didn't have to witness your brother dying in front of you. And the futility of the whole situation. They just kept you in that room all the time. Taking care of you. Sorry. Nah, shut up! Don't be sorry. Honestly, none of this is your fault. If anything, I should apologize. I mean, it would be nice for what I did to you. This whole situation, it's been going on for so long already. I just don't know what to do anymore. How much longer I can take this. Pat, Pat, uh, stop that. Just trying to help. How can you be like this? After all the things I did to you. It's too soon. Getting all touchy like that. That's nothing like me. I don't think Leah is you. Pretty sure she's become her own person at this point. She's basically lived her own life for a while now. Hi. You two are still at it? I think we're done for the most part. Though there is one more thing. Shizuka, how is Gotham doing these days? Well, I didn't speak much with him recently. He's busy designing his levels and flying around in his fancy avatar. He seems content enough. It might be especially difficult to get him out of this. We did in fact meet him while we were in Evator Ground. From what we saw, it looked like he's physically located in the playground. Could that be the case? Yes, somehow Sidwell convinced him to do that. It's easier to keep him under control that way. And well, Gotham was always excited about creating his own worlds. The prospect of experiencing it in person was quite appealing to him. Really? I think he's a lost cause. He's stuck in his fantasy world playing his little god figure. That blue avatar with the orange clothing? Yep, yeah, that's him. That is unexpected. He acts like such a different character. And that's the whole point. In any case, we should try to figure out if he's on our side with this or not. Shizuka, can you try talking to him about this? Just hinting at what is happening? I can try. Well then, I think I have a good grasp of the situation now. We'll need time for preparations, though. Certainly. If you have any more questions, you know how to reach me. Yes. I am glad I was able to meet both of you again. Same for me. One last thing, though. Yes? Looking at what Sid will accomplish so far, I'm certain he has specific ways to track your actions. Because of that, please be extra careful if you plan to involve any other player. I will. And I already have my suspects. Eh? Well then, goodbye and see you soon. Goodbye. Take care. Bye. You too, Leah. Sergey, what did you mean by that? <sighs> that was a lot to take in, correct? Yeah, a little bit. So, what to do next? Oh, right. We should head back to the east of Sapphire Ridge. Specifically to the uh, old dojo where you got the meteor shade. According to Satoshi, an entrance to Evitar Ground is hidden in that area. I'd like to have a look at it. You can use that teleporter for a quick connection to the dojo. Oh, well. As long as you're making it exceptionally convenient for me, sure. Why not? Okay. We're at the old dojo now. The hidden entrance should be somewhere to the east. The east. Wait. Wait. I think I found it. Already? It's right there. That wall to the east. Let me see if I can open it. Fancy. There we go. Let's see what we find in there. Hmm. This is it, Leah. If we go through that tunnel, we'll reach the Vermilion Wasteland. Lucas, the Evatar of him, he's hopefully still over there. If we act fast enough, we might be able to rescue him. Leah. Leah, please stop. Running in there alone and unprepared is destined to fail. Well, what do you suggest? Do not worry. 
I'm pretty positive that we'll find a way to reach the Evatar server. To be honest, I'm more concerned about what comes afterwards. Why? Assuming that we reach the server and manage to make a backup of all the Evatars, we still need a proper environment to run them. A new place for Evatars. And one way or another, we need Instatainment's permission for that. I'm not entirely sure how to tackle this issue yet. Even for an employee like me, it's difficult to reach the right people to talk about this. Well, that certainly dampened the mood. I'm sorry. There really is no point in worrying about this now. We just have to try our best and see what happens. Waiting it out simply is not an option. Let's head back. Yeah, I was gonna ask about hiding that. Oh yeah, one last thing. Could you go to the first Scholar HQ? I'd like to try something out. Uh, okay. Interesting question. I'm not sure what you're going for here, but okay, sure. Man, after everything, I've, uh, all the blues and the darks, it's kind of weird being in broad daylight again. <sighs> okay. Okay. Nobody seems to be here right now. Perfect. Please have a closer look at the projector in the meeting room. You gonna try and project yourself? Alright. I have the model number. One moment, please. Hi! It works! That is very convenient. Satoshi told me how to connect to any projector inside the playground. That way I'll be able to talk to other players. This might come in handy pretty soon. Why? Well, it's still too early to get into the details right now. Anyway, sh should we call it a day? I need a bit more time thinking about all of this myself. I'm curious, are we going to try and tell our friends? Because I like that idea. Bye. Good night, Leah. Alright, what horror show am I about to witness today? I feel like I know everything by now, but, uh, I'm more than likely, uh, about to get surprised. Okay, I wonder how the others are doing. Lynn, Buggy, Amelia, all of them. They're probably worried about us, right? In difficult times like these, it's good to know that there are people there that care for you. What's happening? Oh, Leah, please, get me out of here. Help. I would very much like to do that. Good morning, Leah. Ah, oh, Jesus! Leah? Another bad dream? Yes, it was exceptionally excruciating. Ending the day has never really been fun for me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you want to talk about it? No. I see. Oh, hello, Leah. Hi. We just keep running into each other recently, don't we? Actually, this is very convenient since I wanted to speak with you. Why? I just had a quick talk with Lynn. I'll need to take a little break from the game soon. That means I won't be around for some time. Why? It's personal stuff. I'd rather not talk about it. Sorry. I'll still be around the next few days, though, if there's anything else you'd like to do. As usual, just call me via D-Link. See ya. Bye. Well, we should not forget that we're in, uh, we are logged into an MMO. There's still that real life out there, for the others at least. Mm. Uh, sorry, I, I, I should have worded that differently. You really should have, yes. Actually, I have good news. The plan to reach the Avatar server is almost complete. I'll have to storm Vermilion Wasteland together with a lot of other players. You remember how strong some of the enemies were over there, correct? Yes. Yes, I do. There's still enough time to prepare. You should make sure your stats and equipment level are as high as possible. It might be worthwhile to visit Rhombus Square for that. Once you feel ready, let's go back to the hideout, discuss the remaining details with Satoshi and Suzuka. Yeah, hello. Why, well, hello there, Leah. You're here as well? Yes, I am. Hello. Also, I guess I'm in chapter 10 now, I must be. Leah, oh, dear, it's good to see you. I just had a talk with Trani. Did he already tell you the news already? Mm -hmm. It's a shame, but that's how it is. In moments like this, real life has to come first. 
Today really isn't the best day, eh? Not only is Trani going to leave, but I had to cancel a special in-game quest I was planning to partake in together with Albert. Why? Because he's meeting his old friend somewhere in Rhombus Square. I'm not supposed to tell anybody, but why should I care when he drops our plans so quickly? Just make sure not to tell Buggy about it. Al would be really angry otherwise. Well, that sounds like a bit of a hint drop if there ever was one. Okay. Uh, let's go and see if we can find him, I guess. Seems like as good an idea as any. And I probably will do some, like, off-screen stuff. <laughs> see if I can, I don't know, maybe get more of those coins or find some of those items. You know, do some proper trading here and there or something. Something to that general effect. I don't know. Certainly a worthwhile thing to at least consider. Alright, so I guess... I'm looking around for... If I remember correctly. Hang on. Let me just... Check my contacts for a second. I didn't realize you were a contact! Uh... Hi. Hey there, Leah. Preparing for the final attack on Evator Ground? Enemies over there can go up to level 60, but don't worry too much about reaching that level. Just make sure you get the good equipment from Rhombus Square. That'll do. Noted. So you're who I'm looking for, right? Hi. Good day, Leah. Sorry, but I'm currently busy. I'm meeting an old friend in Rhombus Square. We could chat later if you like. Ain't that just about the thing. Actually, hang on. Do any of you have new stuff to say? Bonjour, Jenny. Did you already hear the news from Trani? It really is a shame that he won't have time for Crossworlds. We shall play the game together while he's still here. I agree with that. And we will, in a moment. Uh, we already talked to you recently. Hey, Apollo. Spheromantalia! Yep, 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 the booster store. Okay. Same thing as before. Same thing as before. Uh, then I guess we will talk to Citron. Hey, Leah. I'm still around and ready if you'd like to start the party. For now, at least. Really, I think I'm going to miss Crossworlds and strolling around with you. But there's hardly anything I can do about it. Why? It's a private matter. I told you, right? Sorry, I prefer to keep my real and virtual life separated. Alright. I will gladly run about with my friends when I can. Right now, though... Like, that was way too much of a thing, right? Like, I'm not crazy. That has to be, like, something I can actually do. Find him somewhere. It seems like I guess I can just go to the end game if I want, but... Maybe it's like a side quest? I don't really know. Either way, you bet your sweet bippy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around for a little bit. I feel like if I look around, I should be, I, I should be able to find him. Why would the game be making such a special note of it all, you know? Seems a little suspicious to me, is all I'm saying. So, yeah. Uh, give me a bit. Oh! Hey! Okay. Uh, can I get up there? Ah, uh, yeah, I can! Super convenient! Alright. Hey! Yo! Hi! Oh! Good day, Leah. Having a stroll around Rhombus Square? Yee! I was looking for you! Oh, who are you? A new member of the First Scholars? Yes, she just joined a couple weeks ago. Well then, I hope you're enjoying Crossworlds, young lady. Leah! Oh yes, I'm Ivan. Nice to meet you. Actually, something quite peculiar about her. It seems her speech module isn't working. Oh, it isn't? She just said her name, though, didn't she? We believe she is using some kind of workaround that allows her to say a few words. Hmm. Hi, bye, how, why, sorry. This is very strange. I suggest you contact support, but if you already rely on a workaround like this, the problem must really be persistent. You think there's anybody you could talk to, uh, anybody you could talk to about this? Not really. I'm unfortunately out of touch with the development department. I expected as much. There was that one time when I tried to promote some research projects to the integrate oncoming AI technologies. I talked to some of the engineers back then. But it wasn't met with a lot of enthusiasm, so I gave up on it. It's really a shame. I heard that Instatainment cut down on the R&D department in general, didn't they? 
This seems like it's going to lead to interesting places. That's pretty much the case, yes. Why? Business is going well enough, and most shareholders want to avoid risks as much as possible. Entertainment has lost much of its innovative spark these days. Well, is it that late already? It's time for me to go. Anyway, it was nice to see you again, Albert. Until next time. Sure, just let me know when you have some free time again. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye. Well then, I have to leave as well. Goodbye. Bye. Who was that person? He seems to be closely involved with entertainment. What was his name again? Ivan? Hmm. No way! That must have been Mr. Vestorvich. He's a shareholder of Instantainment. I can hardly believe this. He's supposed to be such a busy person, yet here he was talking casually with Albert. Leah, this is huge! Mr. Vesto Vestorovich, he has been active in the field for, of AI for some time now. I tried to get in touch with him back when Satoshi was still at Instantainment, but we never had any luck. However, since Albert seems to know him personally, we might get our chance to meet him. I'm 100% positive he would be thrilled to learn about Evatars. So, now we just have to reach Albert and ask him about it. How? That is the tricky part. Remember the hologram projector in the meeting room of the first Scholar HQ? If we can meet him personally there, I might be able to talk to him directly. Ooh, looks like he's still online. Let's just head to the meeting room and see if he's close by. Works for me! Alright, that is totally fine and dandy by me. Let's give it a go! Whatever can theoretically ultimately help out Leah in the long run is something I am more than happy to give a try. Let's go! Oh. Alright, just a uh, little old plug and play. Hmm. Albert isn't here. Maybe upstairs? Albert! Albert! I mean, I have him on contact. I can just use the D-Link. No luck up here either. Should we try to contact him via D-Link? Yes. Oh, what the? Oh, hi. Hello again, Leah. I thought he was contacting me for a second. Is something the matter? Yes. Something about me? Shake said no. Her. Something about you. No, no, no. You. Me. Something between us? I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for a guessing game right now, Leah. Please try to discuss this with someone else. That did not go too well. Sorry. Let's be more persistent. Just call him again. Come on, I know you can do it, Leah. This is important! Hi. Again already? Sorry. Are you just calling me to say again to say sorry? It's fine, just don't call me again. Like you Wait! Ah, well... Yeah, I, I know it is unpleasant, but try to be more assertive. The future of Evatars may very well depend on this call. Leah! Hi! Leah, enough already! Wait! Wait! Is this something important? Hmm. And you can't discuss this with anyone else? No! Oh, bother. What should we do, then? Should we meet in person? In Crossworlds, I mean? Yes! All right, maybe that way you'll you'll get your message across. Where should we meet, though? Inside the headquarters, maybe? Yes, 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 that. Good. I'll be there soon. Okay, perfect, you did it. A little bit of a assertiveness, you did it. I, we we're proud of you. Now you just have to wait for him on the ground floor and try to drag him into the meeting room. I'll do it by the collar if I have to. Hi, here I am. So what do you want to tell me? Or rather... How? This way, this way. In the meeting room? Yes. <sighs> so, what now? Leah, I need to see the serial number on the projector again. Here we go. Hello, Albert. What? Who are you? My name is Sergei Asimov. I am an acquaintance of Leah. Honestly, I consider you a friend. Pleased to meet you? I'm sure all of this is very unexpected. Quite unexpected indeed. I'm here because I wanted to talk to you about Leah, her circumstances, and other things. But before that, I want to emphasize that all of this is highly confidential. I need your word that you'll not share this information with anybody else. That's fine. I can keep a secret. Alright then. First things first. About Leah. She is in fact not controlled by a player. Come again? Leah is controlled by an AI. 
Pardon? At AI, an artificial intelligence? I know what it means, but it is very hard to believe. I mean, yes, she can barely talk, but she reacts very naturally otherwise. Well, it certainly does explain some of the weird circumstances from before. What about you, Mr. Asimov? What exactly are you doing here? I'm really connected to the game to watch and support her. I see. So why is this player controlled by an AI? And why do you want to talk to me about this? It'll take a bit longer to explain all the details. That's why I suggest we two talk about this somewhere outside of the game. You should be able to see my contact, contact info next to the hologram. Fine. I have to admit, you've made me curious. All right, then. But yeah, I need to I need to log you out for the time being. We'll talk again later. Okay. Bye. Until then. Oh boy, more horror nightmares. This is going to be fun. Oh. I didn't have a nightmare this time. Small miracles. Good morning, Leah. Oh, boy. hi. So, things have been progressing surprisingly fast. I explained the situation to Albert, and we got in touch with Mr. Vestorovich, and we have ourselves an appointment. <gasps> Mr. Vestorovich wants to meet you in person. He's expecting you in the, his mansion in Rhombus Square. Albert will pick you up at the Sky Rail Station in Rhombus Square, South Arch, and lead the way. We should hurry. Mr. Vestorovich is a busy person. Okay, uh, then we'll just head ourselves on over. Okay, so then it should be the South Arch, you said, yeah? Or at least, or the South of an Arch. Okay, no, there you are. Good day, Leah. Hi. No time to waste. Please come this way. I am legitimately curious how our friends are going to react to this. The mansion is further down. Like, they're going to have to find out eventually, right? Okay. He's waiting inside. He wants to find out just how advanced of an AI you really are. Oh, boy. Well, just try to act naturally. Human-like. Pretty much like you did so far. Uh, okay. I'll try. Ah, there you are. Uh, hello. Hi. Welcome to my little mansion, Anna. It's nice to see you again. Uh, Leah. Ah, did I get your name wrong? Right, your name is Leah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, my memory for names has seen better days. Anyway, I'm glad you arrived safely. It's good to see that you managed to stay dry with all that rain outside. Uh... What? Huh? Did I say something strange? Yes. Oh, wait, I forgot. It's sunny out there, isn't it? Hmm. Ho, ho, ho! I probably sound like a senile old man to you, don't I? A little bit, yes. Ooh, ouch, that was a bit too honest, don't you think? Uh, well, I, I think so a little bit. Yeah, sorry. Ho, 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 don't worry. I'm just testing you. I was told you were an AI. One of the most effective ways to distinguish a poor AI from a human is testing how it reacts to nonsense. That's not inaccurate. And despite your lack of speech, I have to say, your reactions so far seem very much human-like. I'm impressed. Yay! Anyway, let's do a little quiz. A quiz? Don't worry, it should be simple. Okay. This way, please. Ladies first. Leah's one of those. Okay, Leah, are you ready? Uh, I guess. Pendulums make me think of Chrono Trigger. Good. First question. Say, Leah, do you remember the appearance and taste of fruits and vegetables? Uh, sure. In that case, what's your favorite? Lettuce, tomatoes, bananas, or eggplants? I mean, out of the four, I, I guess I like tomatoes. Good. Tomatoes, you say. Please remember this for a moment. Now to something else. Some time ago, I had a long talk with an old friend. He just went on about his garden at home. Yada yada bonsai trees, blah blah flower beds. He just kept on going. And when he was done, I told him this is all really fascinating. Here's my second question. Did I tell him the truth? I mean, doesn't seem like it. No, it sounds like you told him a, a comforting lie. Alright, last question. So, remember your favorite food item? What color is most commonly associated with it? Red, green, purple, or yellow? Well, uh, commonly associated? Red. I mean, there are green tomatoes, but yeah, red. The color of tomatoes is red. Sounds reasonable. Good. This concludes our quiz. And you handled this one perfectly, that's for sure. Yay! Now, 
You could in fact just be a human-controlled program mocking an AI. But Mr. Asimov proposed a little experiment to prove that you are in fact a real AI. Is that so? He gave me a small program to send you a pre-recorded message. I'll send this message now. Get ready. Huh? Yeah. Hello, Leah. This is a pre-recorded message. Mr. Asimov claimed you are capable of receiving and understanding the full recording in a split second. That is certainly a feat impossible to humans. In the middle of this recording will be a simple question. Be careful not to miss it. Okay. Anyway, the weather sure is nice, isn't it? I'm just talking to add some padding to this recording. Don't mind me. Mm. Well, that should be sufficient. Here's the question. What is 6 divided by 2? 3. Please remember the answer until after the recording is over. Okay. I was about to ask how basic math was going to prove anything, but no, it's the fact that I got the question in about, like, a fraction of a second, faster than humans could. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Now, onto something else. Some of my peers find it rather strange that I continue to sometimes play crossworlds, you know? Is it really that strange for somebody who works on a product to use said product? They keep telling me a person in my position should have better things to do. But why should it matter what I do as a recreational activity? Plus, I feel the technology of Crossworlds is highly fascinating. Of course I do. That's why I invested into instantainment, after all. Anyway, this is the end of the recording. Now please answer my question from before. Okay. The answer is... Three. Absolutely incredible. You received a recording of about a minute and responded to it almost immediately. This proves without a doubt that you are indeed an AI. Pretty much the most human-like AI I have witnessed so far. Mr. Asimov, I'm honestly impressed. I'm very glad to hear this. I'd like to meet up soon to discuss the matter in more detail. Please contact my secretary to make an appointment. I'll do that right away. Thank you for your time. No, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to see this. And Leah, I hope you enjoyed our conversation as much as I did. It was nerve-wracking, but... How? <laughs> Quite the sassy girl, aren't you? And that's why we love her! Yes, my girl! Love it. Love it. Goodbye, Leah. And I hope to see you again. Bye. I think that went well. Back again. How was it? It went really well. Mr. Vestorovich, at least, seemed very intrigued. If we can convince him of the potential of Evitars, we might get entertainment to support the research after all. Which means we might be able to create a future for Evatars. Leah! This is great news. Anyway, next I suppose you have to resolve this whole Evatar ground situation, right? Right, and we are on it. Please make sure not to tell anyone else about Leah just yet. It's important that we keep things secret for now. Understood. If there's anything else I can help you with, just let me know. Of course. And thanks a lot for everything so far. No problem. See you around. Bye. So, what next? Right, getting ready to re-enter Vermilion Wasteland. Once you feel prepared, let's visit Shizuka and Satoshi again at the old hideout. Gotcha. Okay, so the name of the game really quite possibly is... Or rather, most definitely is... I need to do... Just a little bit of training, okay? I'm not gonna go over-leveled. I mean, Shizuka said that I didn't have to be level 60, but I'd like to be slightly closer. And I want to see if I can get better gear. I'm going to see if I can find maybe the stuff that will let me trade for some better stuff that I want. Stuff like that. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah. Boy, man. I think we might actually be at the end game. This game has been substantial. Let's be honest with ourselves. Oh, hang on a second. Uh, if I want to go off and do stuff, then I'm going to need Amelie with me. Yes! Party time! Un segundo! Yay! Friends! Do you know what? Hang on a second. Uh, you know who I never hang out with? Do you want? Hey, Joden, you wanna you wanna be palling around with me? Sure, I can join your party. Just a minute on that. There you go. Yeah, that's neat. Oh, that's not even the right way. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do myself uh, as much pre-ramble as I possibly can before we get ourselves in a dangerous situation. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying yourselves, cause it looks like we're reaching the end. I'll see you all then.